Welcome to the Internet Security Tutorial. Here I'll show you how I can make my Mac even more secure. Let's consider, for example, that I've recently started noticing some strange processes in my activity monitor. And also, my friends have started complaining about getting viruses from an external hard drive that they borrowed from me. Finally, I've been shopping online pretty frequently, and I'm pretty worried about my credit card data and information. Therefore, I've decided to ensure maximum security for myself and my Mac by installing MacKeeper's Internet Security plugin. First of all, I'll click the Install button and enter my username and password. MacKeeper's Internet Security plugin includes two modules real time safe browsing and antivirus. The real time safe browsing and automatic security update options are enabled by default, so my antivirus databases are updated on the spot. MacKeeper also recommends that I perform a virus scan, so let's run a full virus scan right now. By default, antivirus will scan my user, system, library, and applications folders. If I want to interrupt the scan, I can click the Stop Scan button. Oops! MacKeeper's already found infected items. The Internet Security icon has turned red, and here's an alert informing me that the virus has been detected. Let's take a look through the scan results. I've got several viruses that I should either quarantine or delete, so I'll quarantine this one and delete this one. If I consider some of these files safe, I can add them to the whitelist. The antivirus also features the real-time protection option. It should be turned on only if you work with potentially dangerous environments, such as Windows or copy Windows files to your Mac. For me, I've got some files on an external hard drive that was connected to a Windows machine before, so I think I'll turn on the real-time protection just not to spread the viruses around. I can also create custom schedules for specific folders for the antivirus to scan them within specific time intervals. On my Mac, I've also got a folder where downloads from the internet go. So I'll go to the schedule section, click add to select this folder, and here it is. Now I'll click the manual button and set up a time interval for the schedule, hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly. Let's specify the time, and that's it. The first scan will take place at this time, but I'd like to scan my folder right away, so I'll click the Scan Now button, and if I want to stop scheduling scans for my folder, all I do is select it in the Schedule list and click Remove. And now let's check out the real-time Safe Browsing option. It's enabled by default to prevent malware from getting onto my Mac from fraudulent websites and to protect me from identity theft, credit card fraud, and other nasty stuff that's online. If I end up on a potentially dangerous website, real-time safe browsing will block it and add it to the blacklist. I can also fill in the blacklist websites that I consider dangerous. However, if I have a specific website that I trust, I can add it to the whitelist. And that's it. Now I can surf the internet, download files, work with virtual machines and external hard drives without any worries. Now I'm protected against all threats with MacKeeper's Internet Security plugin. That's it for the Internet Security Tutorial. Thanks for watching.